going on guys thursday mlb slate got some games to go over in today's video missed a couple of days due to some connection issues with my wi-fi but i think everything's back to normal now uh, if you guys are new to my channel i pretty much go over every single game every single day so hit that subscribe button and drop a like on the video i would appreciate that uh we got three days of updated numbers on the bottom of the screen i like i said i've missed a couple of days so to get you guys up to speed we had a couple of losing days in the mix. Imagine that. Even, even Dan's rants has some losing days. I tell you all the time, they're always in the mix. Uh, nothing crazy. Monday and Tuesday, we had a one and two record, losing about one unit on each day. And then uh, yesterday, our record was two and one. So we've thrown back a couple units to the books. Whatever. Make them happy short term. We're going to smack them uh, throughout the rest of the month. I mean, it's like the same thing. There's some bad days, a couple nasty losses. Uh, in the mix over a course of a month. You recover, you finish the month strong, and you cash another profitable month. This is a long-term deal. Uh, I'm not here to make every single week profitable. I'm not here to win every single day uh, because that's unrealistic. I stack my money long-term, and I understand the fact that there's going to be losing days and even losing weeks in the mix. So if you're a little too emotional uh, to deal with some losing days, sports betting is just not the industry for you. But if you can kind of control yourself, use the bankroll management uh, that I provide, the unit sizes, everything that goes out with my bets, you'll just be fine long term, man. Just just calm down. Just chill out. There's a couple losing days. <laughs> don't don't uh, don't get too at, too bent out of shape. Um, cash another one on SoBet too. The SoBet link always in the description, guys. If you're looking for a more cost effective exposure to some premium picks, it's right around ten dollars a month right now to get on that SoBet platform for a month. There's 70 people on that platform now that drop all of their picks every single day. Of course, it's not all my picks. It's my daily best bet. But once you're on there, man, immediate access to like 70 betting professionals for 10 bucks a month. And what's coming up with football season? You're crazy not to be on there. In terms of my picks, if you want all my picks every day, if you want to be on that daily text list that I show you guys all the time, uh, that's my website. Link in the description, danspicks.net. Whatever just whatever uh whatever package you get, man. You go on the text list, super simple. I'll just text your phone every single day. The plays, the units, and the odds, man. Just copy the text message, lock in those wagers, do it long term. Money will add up for you guys. And my future bets will be sent out to the client list this Friday. Uh, if you guys are like sleeping under a rock, maybe you wouldn't know. Uh, but college football Saturday, we're two days away from college football. We pretty much made it. Uh, round of applause for making it through summer and dealing with the grind that the MLB is. Uh, but college football, we got more preseason coming up as well. Like I said, my futures bets. If you guys are not even familiar with futures bets, it's like win totals for some of the teams, uh, certain teams to make the college football playoff, national championship picks, stuff like that. That entire list of futures bets will be sent out on Friday and Friday only. Not a day before, not a day after. You got to have an active subscription on Friday to get those bets. Um, so yeah, just just probably the best time ever if you're not on the text list to get on right now. Uh, even if you just grab the week, man. Just grab the week. It's 29 bucks. You get a whole week of picks, and you're going to get that entire list of those future bets. That's a lot of value for 30 bucks. 30 bucks in today's economy with what's going on with the government and everything. Come on, man. 30 bucks is like, what, a half a tank of gas, one sub at like a fast food place? Prices are out of control. I think 30 bucks to get a good week of sports picks and those futures bets. Now, that's a good investment. Just skip your lunch for a day. Um, let me bring up the slate, boys. Let me bring it up. I think it's a good looking Thursday, to be honest. MLB Thursday. Thursdays are usually on the smaller side, not as many games, but that's not a bad thing. You choose your spots. Maybe hit them a little harder if you like what you see. First game here, what are we looking at? Colorado Rockies and the Nationals. It's a 1 p.m. Eastern game, so we do have some daytime baseball here on Thursday. Um, I want to take the Nationals here, but it's Corbin, man. He's going to get rocked, and at the same time, as bad as he's been, I can't trust the Rockies on the road, so that's like a contradiction right off the bat. It's like, okay, well, we could maybe take a shot on plus money on the Rockies because of how bad Corbin is, but do but it's basically you you cannot trust the Rockies offense even against Corbin to show up on the road. If we had this exact game, this exact starting pitching uh, matchup, but it was in Coors Field, I would for sure be on the Rockies in this one. So this is kind of just a pass. Guardians Yankees, uh, Guardians after yesterday, man, I bet their team total over at three and a half. They put four runs on the Yankees back when Cortez faced them the first time. Um, their numbers against lefties are good. I thought that they'd get to the bullpen coming off a nine run game. Terrible, horrible, brutal effort. 
one run versus Nestor Cor- a Nestor Cortez start. Uh, that's insane. That's literally like crazy land. I got to go Yankees run line here. Lay the one and a half at plus money. Garrett Cole's been good. Um, I just don't trust the bats right now of Cleveland. So got to go with the Yanks. They've been hot, good against righties. They should be able to get the job done by margin. I'd lay the run and a half with the Yanks. Brewers, Cardinals, Peralta, Michaelis. I want to go over. Peralta's been hit up at times. Michaelis is trash. Brewers should be able to get to him. Um, I just don't know if they're going to be a little bit sluggish coming off that previous game where there was a big wild comeback, a walk-off grand slam. Maybe we just fade the Cardinals, man. They're just, you know, they're a 500-ish team, and they're coming off that big emotional, like, comeback and everything. Maybe they fall a little bit flat today. Maybe the Brewers on the money line at minus 118 is the right way to go. Tigers, Cubs, no starting pitcher listed for the Tigers. We got Steele going for the Cubs. Over, I guess. I don't know. It's at seven and a half. That's a pretty good line. I wish I knew who was pitching for the Tigers. Makes this one really, really tough. And the Cubs are just so unbelievably highly favored. Without even knowing the pitching on the other side, they're minus 210 on the on the on the money line. So I got a pass here. Rays Athletics, Springs, and Beto. I don't know, man. Maybe an over here, over seven and a half. Maybe a cheap money line price uh, on the Rays in, in this one, but the Rays bats on the road are kind of like the Rockies. They're they're hard to trust too. This one's a pass as well. I don't want any part of that game. Reds Pirates. We got Paul Skeens going. We got Lodolo on the mound. He's better on the road. His numbers are pretty good. Skeens should do well here. Um, I think we just go maybe first five innings under. I don't want to get into the back end of this game. These teams, bullpen-wise, absolutely horrific. Um, I would go full game over. I would go first five innings under. I mean, you could even bet both at the same time. Angels, Blue Jays, no starting pitching for either team. I literally cannot give you guys an opinion. I have no clue. Phillies, Braves here, Sanchez and Swellenbach. Um, You know, I cashed a nice ticket on the Phillies yesterday. Got them early when they were plus 100. We have another pretty cheap money line price on just what I think is the better team. I'm not going to overthink this one. I'd go back to the Phillies on the money line. It's minus 104 here on FanDuel. It's just a good price with the better team. If they can get into the back end of the game, you know, inning six and on, uh, even down like a run or two, it could be a similar result as yesterday. A nice little comeback win for the Phillies. So I'd go with them. I just don't think the starting pitching matchup is enough of an advantage to go with the Braves in this spot. Astros and Orioles, Corbin Burns and Arigetti, uh over. I mean, Burns has been absolutely trash. I mean, he I, I considered him one of the better pitchers in the beginning of the season. He's been horrible. I think the Astros could absolutely light Corbin Burns up. And at the same time, man, Arigetti pitching on the road against the O's and, and the run total is only eight. I think we have to take an over here. The only risk with that is that Corbin Burns shows up like he was in the beginning part of the year and pitches a good game. But against the Astros, I mean, I don't love the Orioles bullpen. Maybe maybe if Burns even has a good start, Astros get some late runs and maybe get that thing over the total of eight. And the last game here for Thursday is Mets and Padres, Severino and, and Cease. I mean, clear starting pitching advantage for the Padres. I think we got to go Padres first five innings run line minus half of a run. I think they should do pretty well here. I think they can hit up Severino a little bit. Uh, and at the same time, I just don't really want to have this game turn into like an ugly, you know, close one run, maybe even an extra inning type game late where it's just kind of a 50-50 thing. I want to take adv- uh, advantage of Dylan Cease in this one. I'd probably go with the Padres and just keep it to the first half of the game. So that's Thursday, guys. It's actually a pretty good Thursday. There's some decent spots in there. Again, guys, my future bets come out on Thursday. Today's Friday. We got a full weekend of football, college, preseason week three. Um, it's going to be a nice little stretch. End the month on a high note. Grab a package. Get on the text list right now. We just had a couple losing days. Every time I cool down and have a couple losing days in the mix, we seem to go on a nice run. Let's start another run today, guys. Get on that list. I'll get you set up. I'll get you the picks on a daily basis. Start putting money in your pocket. Catch you guys in the next video.